What's good, y'all? Give y'all another update on my old boy. Um, I called my daddy. My daddy said he's doing good up there. He want everybody, all his friends to know that he's doing good. Um, he said that I think today they were for to put him on a bicycle to work on his legs to try to build his strength up. And the reason why my dad, when he was down here, the reason why he wasn't in rehab like that because he said he didn't want to be down here. He said because he didn't like how they were treating him. And I'm not trying to be racist, but he said it was Cubans. He said it was a lot, it was a lot of Cubans and Spanish people in rehab, you know, and they was not treating my dad good. So when my when I when my dad came home, you know, I had to watch over him. And then he said that his insurance went out, that the nurses wasn't coming over here and stuff like that. So the nurses wasn't helping him either. So it was just only me helping him. But I think my dad transferred his stuff to Texas because he been say he want to go to Texas. So when he went to Texas, so now he in the in the, in the rehab center. And I asked him I was like, why you ain't do it down here? He was like, because I didn't like. I ain't like how they would treat me down here. I was like, oh, but he said they treat me way more better up there. I was like, all right, that's cool with me. But I just want to let y'all know, man, you know, everything happened for a reason, you know, because my father, you know, when I got out of jail, my father was sick. I knew he was sick because when I left, he was big. Y'all already know how he was. He was big. So when I got out of jail, you no know, matter of fact, when I was in jail, I mean, he came to see me in jail. I was like, he was in court, and I looked at him. I'm looking at him like, what the fuck on my old boy? He was skinny, so that shit, it was, it was, it was like on my mind. So when I got out, you know, I came home and I talked to him. I'm like, Daddy, what's wrong with you? He was like, What you mean, what's wrong with me? I said, What's wrong with you? He was like, What you mean? I said, Why you small like that now? He was like, No, nah, the doctor told me to lose weight. It's better for my health. But in my head. My doctor ain't go to the, I mean, my daddy ain't go to the doctor and I don't know how long. So I knew he was lying to me. So when he had an accident at work, and then when it happened, because when he had an accident at work, my dad was tired, bro. He was, he was like real tired because he was dealing with this, this young girl. And my dad was chasing this young girl around. She like 24, my dad like 66. He was chasing this young girl around, chasing the young girl around. I told my dad, dad, stop chasing this girl like she ain't nothing like she not for you and, you know me and my dad used to argue a lot behind that he was like Chris you don't want to see with nobody I was like no I do want to see with somebody but not her that's my baby mama cousin my baby mama tell me all the things she do and I come back and tell you and you get mad at me and want to tell her so that's the confusion between her and my baby mama but I told my daddy man I was like daddy she using you daddy she just using you my daddy ain't want to listen to me but you know, my dad was real tired, man. Waking up four o'clock in the morning, five o'clock in the morning, gotta take this girl places and stuff like that. After you do, you did 10 hours uh, 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 at your job, you tired. I knew you were tired, bro. Cause when you get up, I could see it in your face, you were tired. Then the next day you sleep the whole goddamn day. You know, my dad kept that up, bro. But at the end of the day, bro, she did my dad wrong, man. She had another dude anyway. And my dad told me before he left the Texas, you were hurt. He was like, Kristen, you was right. You was right. I said, Dad, don't worry about it, man. I said, I was just trying to tell you. Like, I know, man. We said, I didn't want to believe it. So I was like, Dad, don't worry about it, Daddy, man. I got you, man. Like, it don't matter, bro. You know, everybody learn from their mistakes. But if my dad would never been with that girl, my dad would still been here right now, man. My dad was tired, man. And then when he had the accident at work, I told him to go to the hospital, man. My dad waited a week and a half to go. And then stuff just got worse, man. And then... The sad part about it, when my dad was in the stage he in right now, man, after I went to jail, she came and helped my dad because I told my dad to ask her. After that, man, she ain't never came back again, man. She ain't never came back. I know she ain't wanna deal with that, man. She too young. She don't understand what's going on. So it was just me and my old boy, man. But that's how it is though, man, you know. Sometimes people gotta be careful out here, man. Cause these females really will, will use you. But I love my old boy, man. My old boy doing good, y'all. He gonna do way, he gonna be way more better. You know, I told my dad, man, just just, just focus, bro. And I told my dad, once I get out of the hospital, I'm coming up there and see you. 
and stuff like that, man. I love my old boy. I really do love my old boy, man. Like, I, I miss him. Like, me being home by myself, I get bored. Like, there's nothing to do. Like, I really miss my old boy. I talk to my old boy every day. Before he goes to sleep, I talk to him. But my old boy doing good, y'all. The update is he's doing good. He in therapy. They're trying to build his strength back up, get some feeling back in his leg. But he gonna, he, he doing good, y'all. He love y'all. I just want to let y'all know, man. I love y'all too, man.